<laughs> got something here. I'm afraid. It's, 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 it's golden color. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> he has got, it looks like a coin and it might be gold. Come on, kid, pull it out. <laughs> Hey friends, Patrick Ken here. Uh, we are out at a private permission um, in North Carolina after Digstock. And we had a small group of people. We have Ray, we have Billy Beeps, we have Lucky Jan, we have Weather NC, and we have uh, Trash chipped in out here too so we're gonna see what we can find here at this spot uh, we found buttons before I found my half real here and there was a cut real found here also so it's a colonial house site and we have other areas we're gonna explore too so between the uh, little small group we have here wish us luck that's it what we like to see that really 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 old black glass on the surface here that's pretty cool Got a nice solid repeatable target here. Hopefully it's a button. This is where we found buttons before. Well, what do we got here? Shotgun head stamp. I'll take that. It's an old one. UMC. I think it's a new club, 12 gauge. Nice green. Almost look like a button. Buttons will come off about the same though. So that's awesome. Let's see what else we can get here, man. I'm glad people are starting to find stuff. I, we're breaking the ice. Right, right. Uh, I haven't broke. Yeah, that's quite that's questionable there. Kind of hit and miss here, so we're gonna dig everything. It might be old. More aluminum. Last time I was here, and I hit four aluminum cans, chunks of aluminum. Actually, yeah, four, and then the fifth one was a half real. So we're gonna keep pulling those things out. Nice. Good, nice solid target. Not sure what this is. It's kind of heavy, but not really like a bullet. It could be a bullet. We'll clean it up. A little bottle glass. So 14 to 16. Maybe we got some lead, maybe? Can we get a bullet? Maybe? Nope, we got aluminum at the bottom of the plug. Pretty solid. 18, looks like. Oh, it's changing to tones. It's all target regardless. We're gonna dig it. Not sure what it is, but got a little bit of green to it. We'll save it, clean it up. So I'm not sure if you hunt farm fields of much uh, corn stalks or, in this case, uh, cotton stalks. Um, it's kind of a pain to to swing because they're pretty stiff. It's hard to get through. So I usually go 90 degrees to the sock stalks to give a, a swing get two swings in each row like this and then I'm dragging my shovel behind me to leave a line where I last was so we can kind of grid off of areas oh we might have a target here so just a suggestion uh, curious to see what other people do that might be better because I'm always looking for tips so let me know if you have a better tip on how to do that do this a little bit better through the stocks and fields like this. It's not a good target, not a pretty target, but there's lack of targets, so we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. It is UMC Blue Club 12 gauge shotgun shell. It's an older shotgun shell. That's a nice little tighter target. Pull tab. Yeah, pull tab. <laughs> pull tab, deep pull tab. Um, you what? There, you know, I found a, quite a few, but they're old. I found a 28 gauge over by those pines, which is very odd. 28 gauge is pretty odd to be using other than skeet or trap, but I think it was used quite a bit during the turn of the century. So this. Would have been a probably good spot to shoot birds and stuff.
65, 64. Let's see what it is. Okay. Got it. Let's see what it is. Got a coin. Memorial. I think it looks like a memorial. Now yeah, let me clean it up a little bit. Okay, I can't quite tell, but it looks like 1935D. 1935D, is that what it looks like to you guys? I haven't cleaned it up too much, I want to wait to clean it up later. We got that, we got that. Your broken insular hanging out of the stick it out of the bank. It's broken unfortunately, but it just goes to show you some age. Oh we found the red brick. Or part of the structure must have been or debris pile. So we keep looking. I'm seeing broken glass through here. This looks like an old bottle here. But as I'm starting to scan through, you see this? See that? Try to dig it out. Looks like a spoon or a fork. Stand by. We got ourselves an old spoon. That's really cool. Pretty mangled. But uh, we can get a manufacturer on that once we clean it up. We get an age or something. But that's been mangled a few times. So but we found a relic. So we got a really old bottle. That's heavy too. That's pretty cool. That, that is, I'm sure that is really, really old. But I'm not a bottle person, so how would I know? Yeah, I'm not either. Yeah. Does anybody know how old that might be? It's pink. Pretty cool. Hmm. Huh. Well, bummer. It's a silver wash something. Got a signal repeatable in the 30s. End up with a western field 12 gauge that's that shotgun hook thing. Look what we got. We got it. We do have a broken spear point. Tip broke off. So that's for the base and that's the point. And the point would be out here somewhere. So it must have impacted after being shot, launched, and then the tip broke off. So cool, found something. Look at that. Okay, look what we got here. Just remove that. Ooh, dang. Big chunk of turret. Right, of, uh, yeah. Oh, that would have been a scraper. It's sharp. Yeah, got a little nodule back here, so it probably wouldn't have been used for a spear point, and they probably got to that level and realized they're not going to be able to reduce it down any, but looks to me that that fits pretty good. Use that for scraping hides. Looks like little chips at the end to sharpen it up a little bit. There we go. What do we got? Got a flake. What else can we find here? Uh, another flake. We're on a roll. Here we go. Pottery. Native American pottery. So, all that in a small area, not far from where we found that scraper and that point, broken point. So, we have a campsite, would be my guess. Cool. Got another flake. A green shirt material. Another small flake. We're gonna probably find a lot of it over here. Here we got more pottery. Got 
Got a pattern on it. Part 243. Okay, we got, uh, <laughs> we got something here, I'm afraid. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's golden color. Oh, oh my God. God. He has got, it looks like a coin and it might be gold. Come on, kid, pull it out. Stop I'm, a, I'm afraid. <laughs> what has he got? Is that a gold coin? Oh my God. I, I don't know, I'm afraid to rub it. <laughs> we have to clean it up because that's, does that look gold to you? It looks gold to me. Yes. And I see it I'm looks like to... on the edge some... Yeah. There's some writing on it. I, I hope it's... I, I... You gotta clean that up. <laughs> Come on, let's see. <laughs> well, uh, I, I gotta be very, very careful. It's got a... Yeah, it's got an edge to it. Yeah, there's an edge on it. That is definitely a, a gold coin of some kind, I think. What did it ring up? It's only in the 30s on the mana core, but... Oh, my gosh. I got I got to get a softer cloth in this, so Here, we we may have to we may yes that would be per absolutely perfect because I want to I didn't bring my spray bottle. This is five five dollars. This is a five dollar gold coin. Oh my gosh. Uh, what if it's a foreign coin? Is it silver? Is it? I don't Maybe know. Maybe it's got just a discoloration. It says five dollars on it, which is just odd. It doesn't say dollars. It just says uh, five. I'm afraid. Oh, we got writing. Mm. But you. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, kid. I'm afraid it's just absolutely not what it appears to be. There's, it's foreign it's writing. It's foreign. That's what I was thinking. So that's why I'm wondering if it's like a gold colored coin. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so mean? <laughs> Undo something. It's a. Spanish? It's Spanish. Oh. Well, it's. Nineteen eighty-five, five dollars. Oh no! <laughs> but I can't tell what the back part is. <laughs> oh. Nineteen eighty-five. But my gosh, I thought I got my gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's at least gold colored. Oh shoot! Man, this is right on the surface. What the heck is it? Do you know? It looks like it's an old pin of some sort. Interesting. There's an old bottle. Awesome. Okay, so I got a really high toed and I got excited. Look what's down there. You see the green went around? You see it? You see it? Look at that. And we got a bottle cap. Look at that, how, oh, I don't know if I can handle much more torture. Look at that, the green edge. Looks like a coin, and then you look, and it's not. Oh, come on, look, I need you. She's recording, so we gotta be quiet.